So when I started my vegan journey six years ago, I was following all the advice that you can find online. Eat your beans for protein, eat whole foods if you want to be healthy, have your flax seeds for your omega-3. All of these things do make sense on a baseline level science perspective, but what I realized quickly is that most of them are not practical for vegan fitness results. And in this video, I want to share one specific thing that doesn't apply. And it's really about beans and legumes not being a great protein source. My name is Fritz Horstmann and I'm a vegan coach. I've helped over a thousand vegans over the past few years lose fat, gain muscle and transform their health in my coaching program. And when I first went vegan, I actually gained 30 pounds of weight, mainly because I was using beans and legumes as a protein source. Now, let me dive into the numbers here because I just wanna lay it on you. I don't wanna BS around. I wanna give you the right answer right away. If you look at the numbers when it comes to beans being a protein source, there's nothing wrong with beans, right? They're definitely healthy and you wanna include them in your plant-based diet. But if you look at the numbers, something becomes obviously look at black beans for example one cup of black beans has 14 grams of protein and 240 calories as you can see the ratio is skewed towards the calories peas have eight grams of protein for 125 calories and lentils have 18 grams of protein for 230 calories so all of these sources like peas and garbanzo beans and black beans are always stated as the main protein source for vegans. Now, if you look at the numbers, try, like please look at the numbers and please try to compute a vegan full day of eating. It has you hit 120 grams plus of vegan protein just with these sources. Trust me, I tried. When you try your best but you don't succeed. I was stacking quinoa on top of beans, on top of peas. Maybe I had a meal with 30 grams of protein, but my goal was 200. I tried making it work using garbanzo beans and lentils and all of these sources, and I just overshot my calories like crazy. <laughs> no! 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 I gained a lot of weight, and as you can see, it also doesn't look that tasty. So if you look at the numbers, it's just telling you the truth, and it won't work if you're trying to hit your protein goals. What are better protein sources? Let's look at some numbers here. You might be like, hey Fritz, I have no idea like what numbers are good, what numbers are bad, I totally get you. What you want to look at, you want to aim to have a 1 to 10 ratio when it comes to protein sources, meaning 1 gram of protein for 10 calories. Now, 14 grams of protein, the best ratio here would be 140 calories for black beans, right? But it's 240 calories. Now, let's look at some good sources, like seitan, for example. It has 21 grams of protein per 100 calories. That's even better. It's a 1 to 5 ratio. That's amazing. Tofu. 12 grams of protein for 104 calories. That's even better, right? It's amazing. Tempeh has 20 grams of protein per 192 calories. And if you look at the, the boss of them all, it's protein powder, 80 grams of protein, you're only spending 400 calories. Now, if you use these sources to get your protein needs, for example, for breakfast, you have a shake with protein powder, and then you go on with tofu and tempeh and seitan, it becomes much easier to stay within your calorie range for your weight loss goals while getting your protein in. And a lot of vegans are experiencing a few things. They are losing muscle. They're going from maybe being a fit omnivore, having a solid baseline level muscle, to losing all that muscle because they're using beans for protein and they're not hitting their protein needs. Or they're not satisfied because they're just not getting enough. If you would eat a healthy plant-based diet, a full day of eating with like oatmeal and with like a bean-based lunch and all of that compared to just one meal of planned out seitan and tofu and all the good sources. One meal is having more protein in a whole day of eating. So even if you're consciously eating healthy, you can still mess up. We fucked up. And that's where a lot of vegans go wrong as well. And another mistake I see happening is that beans and legumes are just missing certain amino acids, which are very hard to complete just by eating them. So you want to make sure you use the other sources to your protein as well. But I want to leave you one message here in this video, is that you need to stop looking at beans and legumes as protein sources, and instead look at them as carb sources. Because if you look at the numbers, for example, again, black beans, one cup, 14 grams of protein, 27 grams of carbs. <coughs> I would consider it a carb source because obviously it has more carbs, right? And same for lentils, for peas, and all the other sources too. So when you put together a meal, I would encourage you to, instead of using rice and potatoes or pasta maybe, just use beans as a carb source. And that's a great way of using them. That's where you're going to get the benefits while not using them as a protein source because trust me, if you keep doing that, you're going to keep struggling, you're going to keep being bloated and keep not hitting your protein goals just like I did as well.